there's also one thing I wanted to state. Um, if I do get incarcerated, this will remove me from my place of work, UPS. I've already notified them and gave them a copy of the packet. No, they did not read through it. They just have it on file in case they get arrested. Yes, they are the one of the oldest package com package companies and unions in America, America that move packages. United Parcel Service. Um, they are currently paying for my schooling at Colorado Tech online. I currently make straight A's, and I'm very proud of it. I'm on the dean's list for psychology, a bachelor's in science and psychology. And you'll notice that the synthetic frequencies are not controlling me right now because I'm able to intelligently communicate. Um, also, too, I just got full health benefits through Blue Cross Blue Shield through them, a PPO. So, and on top of that, I am a mentor where I make physical contact with individuals twice a week, a list of individuals in two separate areas of my job, of my work. And I go around and I promote health and safety features to teach them. I also work uh, what they call a guard gate in the front, where when individuals come into work, we uh, entice them to come in and learn death of knowledge, which is safety knowledge and health knowledge. And we give them incentives like uh, Betmo bucks, which is like little monopoly money that they can buy UPS uh, gear with, like this shirt or this sweater. Um, I was also the safety co-chair at one point in time before I sh moved shifts. Um, if you speak with any of my bosses over there, any of my supervisors, or any of the, um, Sabrina was my old day shift. Um, Mike is one of my, uh, full-time supervisors over there in the evening. Um, if you, and, uh, Paula is also my shop steward for the union. If you speak with any of these individuals, they will tell you I'm a great worker. I'm an outstanding worker. Um, you know. Whenever I get inside the trucks to start stacking boxes, that's when they kick up the synthetic tormentation. And they have me start smashing boxes, going crazy, screaming out loud. Um, I actually had one of my coworkers come up and laugh at me and go, dude, you're going to find yourself in a padded fucking room if you don't calm down. So, I mean, and not only that, every single truck is on camera. So you could watch how they torment me especially um when was it this past thursday night what's the date today the date is the 24th so the 23rd was yesterday the the evening of the 22nd the evening of the 22nd early morning it was my night shift so it was around the out in between the hours of 10 10 and 2 in the morning from the 22nd to the 23rd you could uh go and see the trailer i was in i believe it was trailer 48 and pd4 you could see how they treat me literally they had me throwing boxes so hard i hurt my wrist and my elbow and my shoulder and the week prior to this they synthetically tortured me so much i had to go in the safety office and ice my shoulder so this has to stop and now, now, if they violate me on probation and put me in jail, I lose all my benefits. I lose my schooling that I'm making straight A's in. I lose everything because I'll have to reset my seniority number when I get rehired. My job, I'll still have a job there. I'll always have a job there because I'm a good worker and a hard worker. And I am a valid member to the community and to my job. But if I get incarcerated... My seniority number goes, and I'll have to pause on schooling. I'll have to wait another nine months to re get re-enlisted in my benefits. Um, you know, my, all my pay raises will, will deplete, and I'll have to start over from the bottom. So these are issues that I'm having to deal with now because these grumpy old men think that they could push young adults around and just get away with it. And they're doing it with law enforcement as well. And now another thing too, another issue, is now what about all these doctors that they, man they manipulated? 
did they actually manipulate the doctors or the doctors on their side? I know for a fact that people were channeling through my doctors and I know for a fact that David Brotsman was channeling through my probation officer while I was in his office interviewing him like a lawyer. So, I don't know who's who and what's what, but I know that these individuals are being channeled through. So if my, pro I don't know, I'm, I'm being told right now that, that they're all bad people and they're all on the same side, but I don't know if that's, that's true or not. That's up for the investigators to figure out. And yes, I, I am suggesting to the news to find a magician if you do not have mind reading devices and go in there and read their minds synthetically and get the answers. You can have, there, there are algorithms that pump, that make them pump out their answers no matter what, and you can make them talk out loud. So if you're monitoring through their phone systems or through, uh, you know, like headphones with one of those, uh, sat mini satellite dishes with the little probe that can pick up sounds from far away. Well, in the court of law, these telepathic machines are not spoken of. You could even Google it and it will tell you that they do not they do not hold stature in a court of law. So I am suggesting to use them on them to get them to verbally speak out loud the truth and then record them out loud in audio dialogue. Because they are entrapping individuals in this neighborhood and it's not healthy and it's not right. And hey, fight fire with fire, right? 